everybody, it's me, Pam, here at Lady Pug Kisses Stamp Studio. We are gonna do another stamp today. Um, we're working with this amazing set called Penguin Place. It also, whoops, <laughs> as I've been playing with it, it also comes with a matching punch. So it, or coordinating punch, whatever you wanna call it. So it is a large stamp set. This got 28 pieces in it. Yes, and you can find it in the new mini catalog. And um, it is just so darling, so super darling. Um, you can buy it separately, just the stamp set itself, or you can buy it as a bundle. If you buy it as a bundle, you save 10%. So why not buy it as a bundle? Plus, if you buy it as a bundle, it's $31.50. You buy some coordinating ribbon and um, maybe some adhesive and maybe one set of cardstock. I don't even think you need that much. So, um, and you get to choose from the mini from the celebrations catalog celebration is in full effect right now i mean it is just going like a steam train a steam train so it was from august 3rd until the end of september and the reason i'm bringing this one up is because look at this designer series paper you can earn it for free it's 12 by 12. Of course, I've cut this down. And it's just like a lot of different ones. You get two of each, so you get 12 different designs. And they're double-sided. So stinking cute. So you can get this for free, the coordinating paper. So now let's just get, get right down to business. Let's just get right down to business. So we're going to bring our slicer dicer machine. You, or not machine, but... um device. I love this. You guys know how much I love this. So it's, and we're going to need it today. It's got this adorable feature or amazing feature, should I say, with this swing out door that goes all the way up to seven and a quarter inches. And we're going to need it. So we're going to leave it out. So I took a piece of designer series paper. This is old designer series paper. Um, but I figured, you know what, it's gonna go beautifully with our um, designer series paper that we're gonna use today. So I'm like, oh, I love it. But we've got it cut at 12 inches and we're gonna cut it again at eight and three quarters inches. That's why we needed our arm out there. We needed to swing that arm out there. Nice and long. So now we've got that, we're gonna put that back down there. I think I got most everything else sliced and diced. The only thing is, is that I want to score this. So I'm going to bring out this real quick before we start getting any further. So this is going to be a three by three box, a three by three box. Isn't that cute? And so um, this is what I made earlier. Um, you can fill it with whatever you'd like. I put some Reese's peanut butter cups. Yes, I'm a sucker for Reese's peanut butter cups, but isn't that just so cute? Just a darling little box. Now, um, so it's a three by three box. So you're gonna have your base is gonna be cut at six inches by eight and three quarters, which we had just done, right? So now we're gonna score it on the eight inch, eight and three quarters inch side. We're gonna score it at one inch, four inch, five inch, and eight inch. On the six inch side, we're gonna score it at half an inch, one and a half inches, four and a half inches, and five and a half inches. So I just wanted to like cover that with you real quick. You can take a snapshot of your, of your um, screen or pause the video and write them down. I'm still working on how to get all of that other stuff done. I'm new on here, but I am trying. So, so like I said, we're going to do the eight and a half inch side. Oh, and by the way, we need to add handle out again, right? So we're going to start at one inch and we're going to score it. Now it's got two sliding blades. Um, the dark one is the cutting blade 
And then there is the light one, which is the scoring blade. That's the one we're using is the scoring blade. And you can navigate them out of your way. So then we've got that scored and then we're gonna go over here to four inches, four inches. Of course, I don't have to be exact, but I try. <laughs> so we've got it four inches and then again at five inches. There we go, five inches and then eight inches. So we're gonna navigate that all the way down to the eight inch mark. And this here is a border that keeps it super straight. So you know that as long as you keep it up against that border, you're gonna get perfect score marks and cut lines every time. Oh, we don't want that one. We want this one. So then we're gonna flip this over to our six inch side, right? And we're gonna go here to a half an inch so we're gonna just go to one half inch there we go half an inch one and a half inches of course if I grab it where I'm supposed to I can probably open that little gate better half, one and a half inches there we go and then again at four and a half inches It's clearly marked and it's got a film on it, like a protective shield, so it's not gonna rub off. So that's another good thing about this slicer dicer. And then five and a half inches. And I've called it a slicer dicer my entire stamping life. <laughs> um, so there we've got our score lines down. Now, you can either reinforce them now or you can come in later. I like to do it now because it makes it easier for me to see. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to just just fold where those little score lines are. So it's not difficult. There we are. I'm going to show you my template here real quick so we'll so you'll know what I'm doing here. so here's my template um, this is where we're gonna be cutting things so yeah so I just wanted you so you can take a snapshot of that uh, on your screen or you know <laughs> but now we're gonna just start with our scissors and um, I like to take the one inch side and I'm just clipping off these little tiny tabs down here to start. And then I'm gonna come and cut a slit up here then I'm gonna take a notch up. Not much, just a little teeny light, little notch. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm doing that. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Did you know that it was scientifically proven that a human cannot cut a straight line? So if you find yourself in your craft room beating yourself up because you you keep trying to cut a straight line and you just can't unless it's like, I mean, if you're cutting on a line, it should be easier, but um, yeah, and so we got a notch out of that one. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to cut both these at both sides, a little slit. So don't beat yourself up. Just know that it's not your fault that you can't cut a straight line. It's evolution for some reason. It's like that whole saying that you can't walk in a straight line. Like if you're in the woods, they say it's really hard because you like, well, oh, and I'm cutting this little notch out here. Um, you can walk around in circles because of the way your feet turn. So yeah. Now, I'm gonna just do this whole side first, so I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna cut my little notches out. And again on this end. 
so it's just one of those like weird science things <laughs> um, that we all didn't know, but we need to know that because we do, we beat ourselves up, don't we? So there we go. But this little penguin uh, set is so, so cute. Uh, Stampin' Up! always does such an amazing job at making really cute cards. So here, we're going to, oh, did, we didn't cut our notches. I mean, I didn't cut my notches on this side. I do want notches. Not extreme notches, but little tiny little notches. There we go. That one was more of an extreme notch, but that's okay. So now this side, we're going to cut this this whole little four square, four, two rectangles and two tiny little rectangles out. There we go. One, and we discard, discard it, discard it. And then again on this one. Now, there we are. Now, I'm going to, you don't have to, this is a step you don't need to do, but I'm going to do it. Is I'm gonna bring in my punch. I love this punch, it's a trio. It's got literally three punches. So it pu punches like an oval hole. It punches a decorative end, and it also does a corner. And um, it's designed to where it has little stoppies, so you just push your project all the way and then it rounds, corner rounds it. Isn't that nice? It's foolproof. <laughs> Sometimes I make big boo-boos, but look at that. So like I said, it's a, it's a step you don't need to do. You, you can actually cut them yourself if you want to or just leave them the way they are. So it's up to you. It's really up to you. Now, oh, I'm going to put that over there. There we are. So now we've just got our base here. And we're going to fold our little corners in here because we're going to put adhesive there. Now, you can use whatever you want. I think I'm going to use glue today because we're going to set it aside to, to dry, right? So, of course, oh, there we go. So, it'll be all right because we're going to work on the other parts of the project as well. So um, if I have to sit and watch glue dry, it drives me crazy. So I don't do it. Um, so here's another little thing now that we're at this part is that um, these little tabs right up here, I'll show you in just two seconds. Um, these little tabs here, you can cut them off if you want to. I, um, I'm leaving them. I kind of like the way they look on my project, so I'm going to leave them. But it's like you can do what you want. It's your project. It's yours. It's not mine. I'm not telling you how to do your do it. It's, it's up to you. So, <laughs> um, but... If you don't like them, like I said, take them off. If you like them, then leave them on. So there we go. And then again, and like I said, this glue dries super fast anyhow, so it's not like I'm watching glue dry. But um, but we're gonna put it aside anyhow, so it's not like you know. There we go. There we go. So our box is pretty much done. Except for we're going to decorate it, but we're going to do that in a few minutes. Alrighty, so I'm going to show you one more thing while I've got your attention. <laughs> and that is, so I've got DSP and I've cut the DSP down to, um, I've got this one cut to two inches by three quarters of an inch and then again um, the other way so I just cut it into a square two inches and three quarters so it's two and three quarters by two and three quarters inches these ones I've cut two and three quarters by three quarters so um, and I think I'm gonna use these little green because I didn't on this one 
you see how I did this side on here? I didn't want to do that side again. So I figured I'm going to flip it over and use this adorable side. I mean, I just love the DSP that Stampin' Up! gets because it's double-sided. So you basically get more for less, basically. So you get your money's worth. You can pick and choose. Sometimes it's really super hard because like this one, I could have used this one. I love it. Year round, year round. But um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can pick and choose. So there we are. So we're just gonna take and um, put our box. We're gonna just close it. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Because sometimes I need to notch off these ones. So a notch is really quick and simple. There we go. And now it'll close better. Got our box closed. Now we're just gonna adhere it. Our oh, that's so pretty. I love those trees. There we go. We're gonna center that on the front of our box on the top. I love glue because it gives you a little teensy bit of wiggle room. And now we're just gonna do the sides. And like I said, oh, I'm gonna cover up that side. I know it's hard, <laughs> but um, we're gonna put our trees on the sides. I like, my rule of thumb is a quarter an inch. So I cut things a quarter inch smaller, but you could go further and it just leaves like an eighth of an inch border. But you can cut it smaller, you can cut it larger, whatever you, you want, you know, so there we go. Whoop. Of course, <laughs> and now I gotta make sure it's um, the right side. I don't need one tree going in the opposite direction. So, but thank you for joining me this afternoon and hanging out with me do appreciate your your time as you don't have to watch my YouTube I do appreciate it um, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like one I would love the opportunity to earn your business you can find me on my Facebook page um, in which there will be a link down in the um, description and so you know I think I'm gonna trim this side off just a smidge because it wasn't quite fitting much better much better not that I'm a perfectionist <laughs> I'm really not don't ask anybody I know that question because they might contradict me but um I don't think I'm a perfectionist um I just think that sometimes things need to be right and then other things don't need to be so right. Like when you're making crafts like this, you're giving it to family and friends. So, you know, um, you can have a few imperfections because imperfections are beautiful. So I'm also working with, I know you can't see it, but oh my gosh, it feels awesome. It's this velvet paper. It's in the new mini catalog too. I love it. So we're going to work with it too. So I've got some black scrap paper. I've got some of that velvet paper and we're going to use our punches. So um, I want some little feet. So I think I'm going to do the feet out of here. Um, I think, I want to say, no, there we go. We're going to get out of the other one. 
these punches, I just love Stampin' Up! punches. If you have not ever had one, you'd love them. They're so easy to use. So, there we go. So, now I've got my two feet, my body. Now, we're going to do the inside of his little body out of velvet paper. Now, there we go. And look at him. Look at how cute he's going to be. You know what? I need two more feet because I'm going to make a double penguin. So we're going to punch out two more feet. Or not a double pumpkin. Or a penguin. We're going to do a male and a female penguin. That's what I meant to say. Not a double one. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could do a double penguin. That's what you want to call it. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> almost messed up his little toes already does penguins have toes i'm not sure um so here we go we're gonna put them right over here and like i said i had punched one out earlier so there we go now we're gonna just glue them on there but in our stamps this is a cute set, a super cute set. So right here it says, I like you a lot And then up here it says, it's like a little except a lot. <laughs> like so, like so cute. And then it says, be cool, be chill, be merry. And then it says, lots of thanks to the coolest friend ever. Happy birthday, season's greetings. It's got two little penguins with their feet. This matches that one, this one. Little beaks for both ones. And then they've got accessories too. So they've got a bow tie um, or a bow for their hair. Antlers, a little hat, a little tree, a scarf, a handbag, a fishing pole, a balloon. So this, the stamp set can be used year round. So it's super cute. So we're going to get pumpkin pie. We're going to need pumpkin pie for his beak. And I think I want him to have really, really pretty blue eyes. So I think I'm going to go with um, Pacific Point blue eyes because I the eyes can be whatever color I want, right? So we're just going to get his little bodies and we're going to get his beak first. Or not beak. Yeah, the beak. But we're not going to do his beak first. We're actually going to do his eyeballs first. Or should I say their eyeballs? Because one's going to be a little girl. I think we're going to do one as a little girl. And so here we go. I'm just going to ink up. I tried to do this with um, blender pens. It doesn't do so well. So... This takes a few extra minutes to dry. But, um, so we're just gonna set them aside to dry. Actually, we're gonna need him because we're gonna put his beak on. But as they're drying, we're gonna do other, other things. So, um, but that's all right. Um, It's because it's the regular ink and it's on this velvet paper, it's gonna take a few extra minutes to dry, but that's all right. Um, we've got time, right? We're letting our box dry, right? <laughs> um, then, like I said, I'm coming back in with that pumpkin pie and we're gonna put his beak in there. I do apologize if my head is in the way. There we are. Isn't that cute? And the detail in that beak, you can actually see the little line. So here we go again. There we are. I just let it sit for a second so that that velvet or paper, whichever I'm working on, is sucking up that ink. It just sucks up as much of that ink as it can possibly suck. So. Now, 
there's our two adorable penguins. We're gonna adhere them in a minute, but we're gonna move them over there so they can finish drawing. And we're gonna grab a little piece of scrap paper. And I've got tons of scrap paper. I just have to find some. And let's see here. So we're gonna do a hat. And we're gonna do a hat and, oh, here it is, a scarf. I already had the scarf out because I used it earlier. So we're gonna work with those. So let's see here. Um, I think we're gonna go with garden green and then Fresh fuchsia. I love this. This is one of the new in colors. Ooh, I love it. So, um, yeah. And garden green. So I think I'm gonna make the um, scarf, or not the scarf, but the hat garden green. I like when I'm fussy cutting, I like to try to get them towards like the edge. So there's a little hat. And now, like I said, the fresh fuchsia. Because the fresh fuchsia, I believe, is what some of the colors in the paper is. So Stampin' Up! does an amazing job at making things coordinate. So you don't have to do any extra work. So, um... They do all the work for you, so. So you won't look like you're, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Stampin' Up! makes it look like you know what you're doing, even if you don't, so. Which I don't. I mean, I do, but <laughs> I love what I do, but I don't think I'm great at it. I think that, you know, if I can teach somebody or even inspire somebody I think that's what I love most about crafting you know is that you don't have to be great you just have to enjoy what you're doing and I do so I just like I'm gonna share that with friends and family and maybe in the same time frame I can make new friends so that's what I'm doing. And as you can tell, I'm not going exactly on the line. I'm kind of leaving a bit of a border. And that goes straight back to the fact that scientifically proven, we can't draw a, or a, cut a straight line. So there's our hats, super cute. And now we're gonna cut out our um, little scarf. But, um, so instead of making it obvious that I couldn't cut directly on the lines for very long, I'm making a little bit of a border that hides my imperfections. That's all. So, yep. Yes, there we go. But it is just The sweet little, I know everybody's gonna want this stamp set. <laughs> so I, you know, I thing is I, I should probably look and see. I do know that these um, celebration items are while supplies last, at least some of them are. So um, I should probably find out if this is one of those. So if it is, then you might want to um, order sooner than later. So if you've got a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you need to get in touch with them before the end of next month. And if you're anything like me, you're probably going to want to put in more than one order because <laughs> you don't can't afford it all at one time, right? So you put in two orders, one each month. So there you go. So now we've got those. So our other things 
have to be dry. I'm going to move that over and I'm going to work on our silicone mat or on my silicone mat. Stampin' Up! actually has a silicone mat, but I've had this for years. And my thing is, my philosophy in life is that if you've got it already in your craft room, use what you've got. Don't go buying another one just because a company has it. So um, same thing with my glitter art glue. I I had it. I've had it for a while. I bought a big giant one when I bought this years ago. And um, I like it. I mean, I bought the mono glue because um, it's stamping up, but I have not even broken into it because I've got this one and I'm going to finish using it. So that's just how I feel. <laughs> but um, here we go. We're going to get him positioned on there. Isn't that super cute? Look at how adorable he looks. And he's all dry. We did let him dry adequately. And like I said, we had two of them. So now we've got our next one. We're gonna just glue him or her. I don't know what, what they are just yet. And so um, I think I'm gonna do one more. I think I might, might make a bow to put in her, like her ear. So, or not ear, but on her head, which would look like her head, right? And I think we're gonna do a matching, um, a matching, so her pink fuchsia, I think we'll give her the scarf. So where is that little bow? There it is. Here's that little bow. So we'll just fussy cut that out really quick too while those finish drying. Here we are. I do apologize if you hear my puppies. <laughs> they are um, not really puppies. They're old dogs, but they're my babies. I love them. So, um, you know, sometimes the more, and this is the first time I use this one, sometimes the more you use a stamp, the better the image. So I'm just going to stamp off over here off out of your sight real quick and I'm going to make a different one. So what do I always say? Hopscotch, double dutch, flip it over, got another. There we are. Yeah, that's a little bit more vibrant and crisper. So there we are. And we're just going to fussy it after we cap our glue. So, I know a lot of people get intimidated when they say, oh, I've got a fussy cut something. Oh, don't be intimidated. Just, it's just like grade school, so. But I, like I said, just leave a little bit of a border so that people don't see your imperfections as much. So, there we are. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. There we are. And I'm just gonna kind of fold that back so I can get that. I do apologize if you can hear my music. Um, I turned it super far down, but I do like to listen to music in my craft room, so. There you go. See, look how cute. Alrighty, so we've got our two adorable penguins. There we go. I think I might glue them together by their, by their hands. Fins, what up? Uh, wings, wings. I know that they don't fly, but you know. Oh, there we go. She's gonna have that in her hair, and then her little matching scarf, and then he will have his little beanie. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh! So let's um glue those on real quick. 
Oh, this, this set is going to get so much use. I just know it. What can I say? Where's my tweezers? So, there we are. I guess I could do the same thing with this one, just use my little tweezers. Yeah. Actually, let's see. The silicone mat is perfect for adhesive because the adhesive doesn't stick on it. So if you think you're gonna make a mess with your adhesive, you might as well go onto your silicone mat because that's gonna dry, it's gonna turn opaque, and then I'm gonna just be able to rub it off. So there we go. Now we're gonna get her scarf on her. Then we're gonna build our box. So there we go. She's so simply adorable. So is he. They both are, but I love them. So see how that just rolled right off? <laughs> so, no more there. It's not there no more. So there we are. Oh, and since we're working with the fresh fuchsia, I think I'm going to use this again. I'm wondering if I should go around them or underneath them and just have it tied off to the side. Oh, you know what I could do is I could, yeah, I think I'll cheat. I call this my cheat in which I just clip a piece off, I open my box, and then I get my mini glue dots. Now, my mini glue dots are amazing because they're super sticky, but I can just do this. And I think I'm gonna put it behind them. So I got them there and get another one right there. Come here. There we go. Oops. And then I just go over here and I fasten him back here. Now I think I'm gonna actually get another piece of this really pretty um, designer series paper and put in there. And so you see how I, I got that? That's why it was um, not closing correctly because I didn't cut a straight line. <gasps> oh, yes, see, I'm human. <laughs> I guess if somebody cuts a straight line, the very first time, we can actually say that they're perfect, or at least lucky, because they did it, you know. But there we go. Now, I think, there we go. And like I said, when I do this, I'm gonna just tie a little bow over here on the side. It's my cheat. So, we've got our feet, our little cutesy wootsy feet. Now, Here's what I want to do with my feet. I want to get some, I thought I had some that I've cut enough already, but that's okay. Because here's what I do is I just take my dimensionals and I just cut them down. I just snip them, I know. I get my regular tweezers and um, Put them on one side of these little, little feet. <laughs> and we're gonna make the feet pop out even more than the little penguins are gonna pop out on the paper. So. There we are. There, so now we've got our little penguin feet. I can pop 
off the backs off of them and then okay I only need one okay there we go and we're gonna build her yeah Look at her, how cute is she turning out? Now our little gentleman, gentleman pe penguin. There we go. We're gonna do the same with him. I guess these penguins are sitting. I'm not sure if there's what you would call them when their feet are showing like this, but um, I think they look, they're very distinguished just the way they are. So, I think I want the little gentleman on that side. There we go. And so, I want a sentiment down here. I don't know what kind of sentiment yet. Like maybe, I like you a lot or something. So, let's see here. find out which one we want. Where's my little... I like you a lot. I think it's this one. Nope. That one's not the right one. Here we go. I like you a lot. Um, I like you a lot. And again, we're going to work with that beautiful fresh fuchsia. Sometimes you've got to watch with your photopolymer. Sometimes they don't lay straight. Like that one is not laying straight because I keep moving it. But you know what you can do is you can put it on your silicone mat because it is, it's also sticky. And if it's sticky, it's not gonna stick to the silicone mat like it does this, so. All right. And then I think I'm gonna follow it up with, after I clean off the stamp and put it away, with it's like a lot, but a little. <laughs> it, or it's like a little, but a lot. So, there we go. Oh, you know what? We're going to do the same thing we did before. So, we're just going to put it on there like that. Nope, we're not using that one because it's not long enough for it. Actually, that's not the right one. That is Be Cool. Be cool, be chill, be merry. That's what that one was. I think it's this one. No, I keep grabbing the wrong ones. It must be this one. It has to be. Yes, it is. It's like a little bit of lots. <laughs> so. There we are. Hopefully my paper is long enough. It is, look at that. There we go, it's like a little but a lot. There we are. And then I think I'm gonna put it on some of this really pretty pink paper. There 
we are. Just that smidge of glue and to glue it down. It says, I like you a little or a lot. It's like a little but a lot. And I think it's so cute because they're together. So again, we're just gonna get some. I think I'm gonna glue them together. I told you I was gonna do that and then I didn't do it, huh? So doesn't take long for this glue to dry, so unless you put a lot on it like I just did. There we go. See, he's all he's all glued together. So we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna get these dimensionals. And we're just going to Put a couple, we don't really need a lot because um, if I mail this, it'll be put in a box. So um, we don't need a lot. I, I know a lot of the times I do OD, over dimensional wise things, but um, sometimes OG too, which over glue. But we're not going to today because like I said, I don't need to. Um, because if I do mail it, it would be put in another box. It won't just stay in this box. And I would package it well, you know, so. But like I said, these little boxes are so, so stinking cute. You can make them for like, oh, that one I didn't take off. Um, you can make them for um, Halloween favors. You can make them for um, Christmas favors. You can make them for, oh, that was his little claw. Um, you can make them for, um, Valentine's Day, yeah, Valentine's Day would be perfect for these little guys. Your kids would just love to take take those to school and filled with little goodies. Like I've got mine filled with um, Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm, I love my Reese's peanut butter cups. But yeah, you can um, definitely spruce these up. And oh yeah, I want to take and get a little need to get better snips. My snips are not not doing so great. Just doing a simple knot. It's probably called something else, but I call it a simple knot. So I'm just going to come in here with my simple knot. If it would stay knotted, everything would be great. I don't know why it came undone, but usually it doesn't. But it's okay. I will just keep working it until it submits to what I want it to do. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to come back in here and cut off at an angle. Come on. Just at a little angle so that so we've got those there and then we're gonna put our like a little but a lot it's like it's like a little but it's a lot oh no I want dimensionals and I don't need very many just like two maybe three maybe two and a half here I go ODing again <laughs> over dimensionalizing things <laughs> but that's okay Nice. They're not that expensive, honestly. They're like less than a penny each. So it's not like I'm giving things away when I do that. So there is our super cute little couple who's going to be in our little box. I just love that green. It just really kind of really brings that box to a whole new Christmas level. <laughs> so that'll probably go to a, a really dear friend. And so 
All right, so I guess we are done today. Thank you again for joining me. If you do not have a um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator and would um, like one, you can go to my Facebook. It'll be down in the, um, the, the description and you can ask to join my Facebook group and um, I would be happy to try and earn your business. If you've got a demonstrator, then you need to contact them so that you can get all the free goodies during celebration time. Alrighty, so remember to like and share and subscribe to my channel and you guys have a wonderful afternoon. All right, bye-bye guys.